What are you doing, knucklehead? You don't care. What's up, folks? Back down here in the hole. Speaking of a hole. I wonder how many I have here yet. Um, I have a little issue. Other than being out of room. In my aisle way to walk. Uh, which I'm going to show you what the issue is. I may have to move these. Um, probably going to have to scoot this stuff over. Yeah. I got, oops, I need this. <coughs> oh. So, I had a busy morning. I uh, went to the scrapyard and unloaded my trailer. <coughs> Actually ended up with uh, 180 some bucks. I was surprised. Um, three bins of shred. Um, you don't throw it on the ground at the yard I go to. They throw it in a bin. Then they weigh it up. But um, <clears throat> when I left there, I noticed that I had three bins and they only had two on the receipt. So when I called her, um, she said no problem. And uh, so they still owe me $100 on one bin of shred. So I ended up with um, uh, almost 4,000 pounds of shred. But what I did was, um, let me show you. I might have told you this in the other video, I don't know. But my power supplies are 8 cents a pound. Um, if I want to sell them separate. So, shred was 10 cents, 10 and a half cents a pound uh, two weeks ago when I went. It's down to 8 and a half cents now. But, I'm only getting 8 cents a pound for these. So, for a half a penny more, I don't even unbolt them in the bottom. I just cut the wire and let them in there. It gives you a little extra weight. So, I had a bunch of them. So, got rid of those. It's a beautiful day. We're supposed to get some cold weather. And some more uh, rain and snow coming in. <coughs> these have to go to uh, one of the rental houses and get put in today. So, I have somebody doing that. And... Thanks to my uh, neighbor Chris, who lives right there. Um, he got those for me. So I appreciate that. But here's my problem. Does anybody have room in their garage, basement, sheds, house, whatever, that I could store this stuff in? This was from the one scrapyard today. Um, I still have the other scrapyard to go do. But there are so many old ones. That one. There's one there. This one. Um, ice is gone, so I guess I can stand up there. But there is a ton of old ones. And there's some really weird ones. Um, I've never seen before, but... Ugh. Yeah, it must be buried. But I'll have to show you that one. I got an Xbox... Probably about 10 laptops, something like that. One server blade. Um, it's pretty much stripped out, though. <coughs> but there's uh, quite a bit in here. Um, it actually weighed exactly 2,000 pounds. So, yeah. And there's a lot of like loose boards like this. There's loose memory in here. I don't know what's in this box. There's memory in this box. Laptop batteries, all kinds of little odds and ends. And a lot of these computers have uh, like loose boards in them. Some loose motherboards here. I think there's a bunch in this one. You see that? I almost died. I could have been killed. Get your ass up there. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah, see this? More loose memory. So, I said there's a crap load of laptops down there. Um, yeah. But you can see all the old ones. Here's one, here's one, there's one, uh, there's one. 
One there. You climb up here. A whole bunch in the front. Oh, here's the ones I was looking at. Here, 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 here. There's probably 15, at least 15 real old ones. So, but I wanted to show you this with my battery don't run out. Um. Stuff with one hand. There's a little old one there too. But these here. Uh, one there. There's one there. But then in a, underneath here somewhere. That has a ceramic CPU in it. I can see it from here. Um, it looked like one of them alarm boxes that you'd have like in your basement. But it's got a mother. Oh, oh shit. Has a motherboard and um, PCI cards and all that stuff in it. It's really weird. So when I get that one, I'll show it to you. But but that's what I'm doing here. Um, this load was a little pricey, but I mean, I'll make the the money back on just the memory because um, as I was loading these, these all pretty much have um, three to four sticks of memory in them. I got all my barrels back from the scrapyard. <clears throat> so, this is how many of those I had. I had that one, these two, uh, those two. I had actually more there than I thought I did. Uh, this one, these, these, <laughs> that one, and that white one. So, now I have room to put my uh, circuit boards in. <clears throat> Get them off the damn floor. And I still ain't done nothing with that. But, yeah. So I got a ton to do. Um, I'm going to aim for maybe the 17th of February to go down to Ohio. Which means, <clears throat> which means I got some long days ahead of me. But um, doing these ain't nothing. You know, I mean, five minutes I can take, you know, everything out of these and get the, the cases, you know, outside out of the way. <clears throat> and as I've been doing them... I have been uh, taking like the uh, the ribbon wire and cutting the ends off, and just getting rid of that so it's not piled up. The ribbon wire, I don't care; I could pile it up. Um, the hard drives, I just put them on the side, and then when I get a stack of them, I just take the boards off. But um, all I really stack is the the boards themselves, and then I'll just sit here and clean them all. Like, that has two sticks in that one. That has a stick. That has two sticks. There's a stick in that one. Uh, there's three sticks in that one. So, yeah, that stuff adds up really quick. So, but that's what I did today. I uh, went to one scrapyard, unloaded all my stuff. Uh, went to Home Depot and got some door handles and hinges. And then went out to the other scrapyard that's a little ways out. And got that whole trailer full. So, got my work cut out for me, that's for sure. That is for sure. But I have to um, also get the... Um, um, oh yeah, and then I have a bunch of these. Which are pretty much... These are the readers out of hard drives. Well, that whole barrel right there is full. And I weighed this once, it was like 70 pounds. When I used to take hard drives apart. So, they're just breakage. I'm not going to sit here and um, take that little piece of copper out and clean it all up. And no. You know what's going to happen. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, I can sell them as breakage. Um, I'm thinking about the hard drives that I have. Um, I can sell them as breakage too. It's like 12 cents a pound. 20 cents a board sort, but they're bulky. They're heavy. And, you know, at 12 cents a pound, I mean, yeah, I lose 8 cents a pound, but I don't have to, uh, it's a lot of weight, you know, to be traveling with. Um, when I can put other stuff in the trailer, so, you know, sometimes, so let's see, 12 cents a pound. So I get 10 cents each for me, is that right? I don't know. I had my foot on the damn thing. Yeah, 
So you're having about 10 cents a pound. Or 10 cents each. So there's five dollars in each crate. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, probably 70. And I have I think five or six or 70. 75, 80, 85, 90. I probably have 100 bucks in just hard drives with no board. So they're probably going to go uh, with breakage. So I can get rid of those. I can get rid of this barrel. And um, give me a little more room. But but just wanted to share my load with you today. That didn't sound right. Um, <laughs> well, some of you I might want to. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to clean up some of this because I can stack, I don't know, maybe 15, two rows right here, 15. Um, these are my gold connector ends for board sort, and I got it's a little more than halfway full. And I still have two garbage cans like that full of ribbon wire to cut off, plus all the other stuff, and uh, it's kind of heavy. Kind of heavy. So, I think I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and uh, get busy. So, I will talk to y'all later. I appreciate y'all. Don't worry, I'm going easy. A um, lot better uh, every day. So, <clears throat> thank goodness. i seen a Somewhere on the news, um, I don't remember what state it was in, but the whole family had uh, COVID. And then um, two months later, they all got it again. So, it does happen. They say it's rare, but it does happen. Look at this freaking mess. Jesus. <laughs> I need one of them shipping boxes back there. Anybody? Anybody want to come over here and just, just give me the box and then you can leave. I'd appreciate it. I'll make you a cup of coffee or something. Alright, folks. Appreciate y'all. Stay safe. And I will see you all later.